Let's balance the chemical equation H3PO4 plus NaBr. This is phosphoric acid and this is sodium bromide. We use a bit of a trick here to help us balance the equation. So first we have three hydrogen atoms. And then this PO4, this is the phosphate polyatomic ion. We have it here and over here. So we're going to count it as just one thing. That makes it a lot easier to balance. So we can say we have one phosphate, then we have one sodium and one bromine atom. On the product side, hydrogens, we have one of those. We have our one phosphate, three sodium atoms, and then the bromine. So this makes it a lot neater, makes it a lot easier to balance the equation. You'll get the same answer either way. I like to leave hydrogens till last. I think I'll start with the sodium here. So if I put a three in front of the sodium bromide, one times three, that'll give me three of those, one times three. Now I have three bromine atoms. Why don't we just put a three in front of the HBr? One times three, that'll give us three hydrogens, one bromine times the three, that gives us three bromine atoms, and we're done. This equation is balanced. So you can see the utility if we count this phosphate here as one thing, because it appears on both sides, that makes the balancing a lot easier. I would note that all of the substances here, they would be aqueous. However, this phosphoric acid, this is a weak acid. It's considered a weak acid. So it would only partially dissociate into its ions. So if we wrote the net ionic equation, we would have aqueous, but we wouldn't split this up into its ions. So that's why this equation actually is considered that it takes place. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.